How are you doing? This is Yaakov with a beautiful idea. And in the merit of this beautiful idea, may everybody be connected to faith and effort and realize they both connect you to Hashem. So, let's start it off. Rabbi Nachman of Bresla is, uh, writes in uh, Sefer Amidot, which is the Aleph Bet book, also is another name for that. Um, it's a book he used to carry around when he was, since he was a young child, five, six years old. He wrote it himself. Um, it's unbelievable. And, and it's basically um, one of the comments that he writes over there about faith, about Emunah, is that a uh, person who believes, a person who believes in Hashem, is someone who speaks to Hashem. Is someone who speaks to Hashem is, means you believe. It's not something, somebody comes up to you, you say you have faith, you don't say, yeah, I do, or I don't do. It's not about, it's about, it's, faith is something that you do by Rabbi Nachman. Rabbi Nachman speaks about faith as something that you do and not something that you say that you have. You have it by doing it. <laughs> okay? So, and what does that mean for us? So, there's a, on a daily equation, I'll give you a story actually so you understand a little bit about the two because we're going to speak about, we're speaking about emuna, which is faith, and hishtadlut, which means effort. Hishtadlut. Okay. So I heard this story from a very close rabbi of mine uh, from back in Florida. Um, awesome, awesome person. I really, actually, really like him very much. <coughs> His name is Rabbi Yachnes. And he told me, uh, this, I actually, I heard the story on a CD that he, uh, many, many years ago. And he said this. There was, uh, there was this person of faith that every week he gets paid $300, okay? And at the end of a certain week, we know he's supposed to get paid $300, he got paid 270 He got paid 270 So he looked, he did, he did cross, he, uh, ex he re-examined himself again, and he saw... Um, Throughout the whole week, you did a little tally of all the things that he was doing and what he accomplished and everything, and he saw that really, you know, three hundred dollars he was supposed to get, supposed to get, and he only got two seventy in the end. So he thought about why he got two seventy, and and he really came to a very like serious conclusion that really only did he only did ninety percent. He only had 90% faith that week. <coughs> he only had 90% faith that week. So he said, it makes sense that this week I only got 90% of my income because I had 90% faith this week in all the things that in my life that I was supposed to count on Hashem and to deal with honestly and everything. I only got 90% faith. Uh, so therefore I had 90% of my income this week. So the person said they had... Two hundred and seventy dollars, as opposed to three hundred dollars. So, so the story illustrated for me, and for all those that are listening, um, that how how faith can go for a person. When the faith that you have in this world, meaning the faith that you utilize while you're in this world, okay, the faith that you have in Hashem. And and uh, and his spiritual principles to be able to come close to him, like Rabbi Nachman is saying, by speaking to Hashem, you you believe in Hashem. When you speak to Hashem, so a person can achieve endless amounts of <coughs> of of serious faith, where you can walk and you put an effort. That that itself, speaking to Hashem itself is an effort. It's something that you do, okay. But it's a spiritual effort and it's direct. So when you're doing the spiritual effort directly, so you're getting your shafa, you're getting your abundance directly, like that. That that is considered itself an effort, okay. Learning and praying considered itself an effort, okay. However, however, whatever's left over that thirty that that sorry that ten percent that that person that spiritual person we were just talking about, he said only got ninety percent because he had faith ninety percent. So what's the ten percent that's lacking? Ah, he could have made it up. How could he have made it up? By putting in hishtadlut, his effort. Meaning, the pr prayer doesn't necessitate you to travel to all places and to move a million miles. 
prayer you can literally be standing in your house or in the backyard or whatever it is or in a room or or in the field whatever you want to not walk so far at all whatsoever and just enjoy and and you're ready getting getting your shefa your abundance um from Hashem but the other 10% let's say that's left over okay what do you do with that how do you know for sure? Like, is that, is that it? All I have to do is pray and that's it? I just wake up and Hashem does everything for me because I prayed? And and we know that there has to, there, there, the Hishtadlut, there's an effort, okay? And it's a mathematical equation to a certain degree. It's not concrete all the time because you have to have some gauging. You have to be able to gauge yourself a little bit. Um, and also let Hashem gauge for you with a test that He's sending you every day. Um, and what you're ready for, okay? Because let's say this guy we just said before, 90% he had faith, 10% he didn't have that faith. What does he do? He puts in the effort. He goes out of his way. He gets up off his tush, and he goes to the store. He's got to go to this place. He's got to go to this place. But it's 10% left over, so he doesn't have to break his back. That's the idea of being a spiritual human being, being connected to your roots, which is your soul, which is your spirituality, is that is that people feel okay like i gotta i gotta work so hard i gotta do all this two people studying for the same test one person's praying a lot one person is relying completely on their own efforts the person who's relying completely on their own efforts is gonna have to do a lot lot more to be able to do well on that test okay because when it comes down to it okay when it comes down to it the effort that he put in okay is all his own so to speak, right? Effort, meaning if he's not asking Hashem for help. So he's going to have a harder time. He's going to have to figure out ways. He's going to have to do all this. And he's going to have to also recognize that that effort's from God in the end of the day because that's just going to make him haughty. He's going to think he did it. It's going to be his effort. But the person who prayed, he's going to have to put in less effort. He or she will have to put in less effort, okay, in the end of the day. Okay, because the mind gets calm to be to be able to be able to learn the information, to be able to deal with information, and that faith that he has that he's building, the vessel to be able to receive that abundance in that situation, which is the abundance in studying, is to have information in your head to be able to utilize it in your tests. He's gonna have to put in that, or she's gonna have to put in less effort after that. If all they, if they don't, a person doesn't have complete. I don't listen. I don't have a hundred percent faith regarding this test because in order to do that i literally would just walk in the test and just take the test <laughs> right like it wouldn't have would have to study or whatever the situation is but i have 90 percent faith okay so i do need to study or i have 80 percent. i do need to study okay the 80 percent faith i'm praying the 20 percent left over you're studying you're studying you're doing that okay you're doing that huge and you're going to do very well. Why? Because your head is clear, open, ready to receive all the information. And you know when you put in the effort, that 20%, that feels like it's you doing it. That was from Hashem. That was from Hashem. But you don't have to do the 100% effort. Like if a person didn't break their back for hours and billions of hours and everything. Like that, da, 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 da. Why? Because you put in your spiritual effort with through prayer. And, your, and, through prayer. and when you're praying in that situation especially and you're having such high so you're having that faith okay that's coming to to take let's say we again we have a mathematical equation 100 percent faith means hashem will fulfill without doing with whatever you, whatever it is so you have 50 percent faith that you're working through spiritual spiritual matters okay whatever's left that you're working through prayer whatever's left over that 50 percent you're gonna have to put in your your hard effort and you're gonna to have to understand that both are from Hashem both are from Hashem and it's an ongoing process that we're building or we're, we're constantly building <coughs> we would love for the for at the at the right time without Hashem that we have uh, for us to have a hundred percent but it's, the truth is I think there are situations in life where we can have a hundred percent faith and situation situations in life where it's harder for us and we're working on it we're working on it but our our job is to always constantly realize is that we have to be willing to put in both we have to be willing be willing to to pray and to learn even if our faith to do our best to build our faith and whatever is left over whatever we can whatever the situation is left over we have to be willing to to put in that hard effort to be di digging the snow to be able to you know get on our clothes in the morning to be able to do whatever we have to do because at the end of the day, that's 
the full equation and the effort of of also where in the non so to speak quote unquote spiritual things those things are also from Hashem because Hashem gives us the power to be able to accomplish them and both of those and when a person recognizes that Hashem's in both of those when you're praying and when you're learning and also when you're digging up your car from the snow and also when you're doing the physical whatever physical labor physical things you have to get out of your way of doing or mental uh, uh, what do you call it mental exercises or whatever the situation is always under, understand and recognize that Hashem is in both of those things Right? Why it keeps us, not only does it keep you humble, but it, it's the truth. The truth is Hashem gave us the power to physically move. Okay, to, to, to move our mind, to, to speak, to do whatever it is we have to do. Once we recognize that they're all from, it's all from Hashem, we'll start to not care. We'll start to focus on, listen, I'm going to build up my faith. I'm going to build up, I'm going to learn. I'm going to build up my faith. And also, whatever, whatever I have to do, I'm going to do. And Hashem's with me in all of those things in the end of the day. So it's not effort versus faith. It's effort with faith. It comes together. They come together. They're not against each other. The physicality of this world and the spirituality that's happening, that's coming together, is not against each other. They actually work with one another. Everything's root is in the spiritual world. Okay, which is why in Judaism we say refuta nefesh, refuta guf. We always say the health of um, with the healing of the soul and the healing of the body, because through the healing of the soul, first everything the, the the manifestation of the healing of the body is via the soul, via the spiritual aspects of the soul, the mind, and all 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 of its intricacies. Okay, and a person who understands that, it will understand why a lot of the also the healing world the um, the world of medicine, okay, cannot properly, truly treat people, okay, the inside, the inside of us. It, the inside of a human being can only be treat, treated by an individual who's after their spiritual, the soul, the, to help the intellect grow, to help faith grow, okay, from the inside out. That's the real, that's the real person. From the physical side, it's a wonderful thing when you can help somebody, when you can help somebody physically live, when you can help somebody physically um, breathe, when you can help somebody physically, it's a miracle. Those are miraculous things. But the perception, the awareness to be able to appreciate those things, to be appreciative, okay, that they work and that it's wonderful and enough, that's coming from the intellect, that's coming from your faith capabilities. And those are the things that we need to work on. We, that's why we have to appreciate the real teachers that are teaching us about faith and wisdom. Because in the end of the day, those are the real doctors. Rabbi Nachman is called the doctor of the soul. Because the soul is the reason why we're here. We're not here for the body. And may everybody recognize that. May everybody recognize the faith and effort. Our work together. And you, we you and I always constantly need to be working on our faith and on our learn, learn more and, and believe more and to pray more and to be able to also be willing to put in the effort that we have to, have to put in and do both with happiness to recognize that Hashem's giving us the energy to do both. And may we, we see our salvation very, very soon in all ways, pos in every way possible, physically and spiritually, whatever, spiritually and physical, physically, whatever comes first, doesn't matter, because they're both coming from the same source, Hashem. Bye. Have a great day.